Welcome back to the When's Lunch podcast. Um, today, I was looking online for new 2018 Bigfoot videos and stumbled across um, this guy's channel. His name is Peter K9 Dog Trainer on YouTube. And I guess he trains dogs. But he has a few videos of a frozen Bigfoot um, body in pieces, like a Bigfoot head, a hand, and a foot, and uh, even a penis. And, you know, I watched the video and the head and the foot and stuff. It looks, you know, pretty fake. But his other videos, man, they're, they go into some crazy stuff. Um, one of his videos is female Bigfoot forced me to have sex. Um, the Bigfoot penis sperm extraction video is something to, uh, behold. And, uh, so let's take a look at it and let's see. He claims that, um, the Bigfoot meat he's been eating has made his penis larger. This guy goes into weird details about this stuff and it's pretty hilarious, so... I don't know, man. Um, so let's check it out. Let's see. I said this before that there's a lot of guys that are really into the Bigfoot penis more than women, but there have been some women that have been, you know, very curious and asking about it. And there's been actually a couple companies have contacted me and want to pull a mold off of it and sell it as some kind of dildo. You know, I'm considering, I'm, I'll consider all offers. I don't know what kind of woman would, you know, be like, well, you know, I guess. <laughs> or at least partially defrosted is get some of the semen out of it and possibly have a woman use a turkey baster and then put put the semen inside of her. Hey, what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck is this guy talking about. He wants to take the semen out of the Bigfoot penis with a turkey baster and artificially incin him. He wants a woman to use it to impregnate herself to create Bigfoot babies. Um, this is just the beginning. It gets a lot weirder. If she doesn't want to do it like that, I would also volunteer. If she was sort of hot, we could put the semen in a condom. I could poke a hole in the condom and we could do it the old fashioned way. Okay. So he, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> He supposedly, this is a Bigfoot penis from 1953. He wants to take the semen out, put it inside of a a condom. He would wear the condom, and only if the woman is hot, he would impregnate her the old-fashioned way. I don't know what's going on in this guy's mind, or... What the fuck, man? I I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, it's just, uh, it just gets weirder. It would be amazing if we could have a hybrid creature sort of like Chaka from Land of the Lost. Um, I have some tools here for when it does defrost. I was thinking that maybe if I turn it upside down and I, I hit a bucket like this... And I just massage the testicles. It's bread dough or something. And then possibly be able to get some jizz in the jizz bucket. Semen that way. I also have a couple things to help me extract semen. I thought that maybe this tool that is used. I believe this is used to take a, uh, a oil filter off of a car. Maybe I could take this and kind of squeeze squeeze the testicles with this and maybe that would force the jizz out. I think that it's very important that we get some jizz. 
Um, another tool that, that I have considered for getting jizz out is, is this needle. I could possibly take it and poke a hole in one of the testicles and then just sort of squeeze the testicle like this, kneading it like it's, it's bread dough or something, and then possibly be able to get some jizz in the jizz bucket. So that, that is my plan, and I, I think that it's a good one, but I really did want to make sure that everybody gets a closer look at the, the Bigfoot penis because it, it's covered in eyes, so it's kind of hard to tell. Now, how I'm going to do it is I'm going to put it in the, in the refrigerator and let it sort of defrost, sort of thaw slowly. I'll probably maybe lay it on its side, maybe not. Um, I know at some point, if I don't lay it on its side, I don't think it's going to stay up like this. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this is sort of frozen in position. This is not an erection. This is how the animal would be walking around the woods. And then it's, it has a sheath like a, a dog or an, another an other animal would have. And that when it got an erection, the penis will come out of the sheath. Do you understand? So that that's that's the plans. Um, I'm going to at a point. I will probably use a blow dryer. I want to collect all this frozen blood and you know sauce, this Bigfoot sauce that I can because it it really does have health benefits. I I just don't feel like consuming you know, frozen blood from the penis. I just, you know, it just seems sort of gay. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Being gay, that is. Um, and this isn't even gay. This is like, it's an animal. It would be similar if I did do that. If I did drink the frozen blood, it'd be sort of like eating Rocky Mountain oysters. I think some people call them Texas oysters. But... I, I really, I don't, I don't. He doesn't want to drink the semen, but he's got no problem sticking it inside of a woman with a turkey baster or putting it around his own penis to stick into a woman. But he's not going to put it in his body because that's gay. Uh, let's keep watching. I just, it's just unappetizing. But there is the health benefit, which I really, I enjoy the Sasquatch blood. So it's a consideration, but I don't think so. Jizz is out of the question. I will not drink the jizz. So stop asking about it. I'm not going to do that. That, the thought of that just disgusts me. Who's asking about it? Who's asking about the Sasquatch jizz? That is fucking foul. And one other thing, I want to make myself perfectly clear. I don't want to talk about how big I am. And I know a lot of people have been asking that question. Like, well, how big are you? I already talked about this. After I started eating the Bigfoot meat and drinking the Bigfoot blood, I got a little bit, I'm not as small as I was. We'll just say that. I, I, I used to be abnormally small. Now I'm, you know, it's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. So enough of that. Let's get this thing defrosted and then uh, I'll get the camera out and we'll take a closer look and, and you'll really be able to see the scrotum. And that, that's what I want everybody to see is the scrotum is absolutely magnificent. And I'm hoping that it, it hangs down real low. You know, I, I hope it's a really, you know, I think that if it's ha if it's hanging too, you know, and everything's all like, unfro uh, you know, it's not frozen anymore, it's all thawed out, I really think that I can massage some of this jizz out. Maybe even like push it down this way, you know, something like that into the bucket, yeah, you know? I mean, I'm not a veterinarian. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it just sort of makes sense. Doesn't it? Like if you massage the balls, that would sort of help the jizz come out, right? 
And then if the jizz started coming out because of gravity, going like this, you know, putting it, the jizz into the bucket, right? I could have a whole, a whole cum bucket and then, it, you know, it could be used for scientific purposes. So, all right, let's let this thaw. Let's see how much blood we get. And, um, and we'll see, see if I can get some jizz out. Instead of turning over this massive Sasquatch penis to scientists, he's going to jerk off the dead dick and give them the sperm for scientific purposes. <clears throat> to possibly turkey base the woman. I don't know if I'm glad that I watched that. I'm kind of glad that I found that. It was... Uh yeah you know I'm gonna go